Must be so nice having Barry back. Yeah. Yes, it is. But... Well, I mean, it's just going to take some time for him to get used to the new dynamics around here, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when Ronnie and I went from just working together to working together and dating, we had some trouble communicating. Oh, I mean, Barry and I communicate just fine. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I, I'm just saying, we actually went to couples therapy and it really helped a lot. I appreciate the advice, Caitlin. Really, I do. But, you know, Barry and I have known each other since childhood, you know? We don't need therapy. I mean, we're Barry and Iris, right? Hope that hurt. Totally worth it. Don't change. Don't change. Don't change. Don't change. Don't change. Caitlin, let's go. There's a turnoff for runaway trucks coming up. Just clear a path and the car will come to a safe stop there. No, 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 I'm gonna push him right. That street's empty. Are you disobeying a direct order? Training session. I so. canceled that, yeah, don't worry about that. You canceled it? That is the same weird code from the elevator murder scene. Boy, doesn't that mean... Our hacker's got a hit list. But can you crack it? Man, I've been trying to crack this code all day. It looks like a virus. Well, yeah, obviously. It's a computer virus. No, no, no. Scooch. Oh, I feel violated. It looks like an organic virus. God, I admire you. I started collecting these tech magazines in high school. They are like... Those are the magazines you collected in high school. <laughs> okay, that's, <sighs> that's hurtful. That's really hurtful. Anyway... Because Caitlin mentioned something earlier and I sort of dismissed it, but now I'm, I'm really thinking that it could help us. Well, I guess so. Well, I guess so. I guess now, yeah, we're just learning to get back in sync, to sync up again. Is that right? I think we could work on listening a little bit more, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Um, or else someone could get really hurt. You know, like if they crash their car into a brick wall going 100 miles per hour. She means that emotionally. I have a sneaking suspicion that you'd rather be somewhere else, Barry. No, no. It, um, I mean, we do have a big work thing that we're dealing with. It's important. Yeah, but so is this. You know, if we're not on the same page, Barry, people could die. Metaphorically. It's not just this morning, Barry. You canceled training the other day without asking me. Um, I didn't think canceling training was that big of a deal. Yeah, 
But you made all of those wedding plans, too, and you didn't consult me. Oh. Uh. Damn. Um. I had to explain to our friends and family why they had a save the date for our wedding, but no invitation. You don't know the looks people gave me because they knew that wasn't the truth. You know, what they must have thought about us, what it made me think about us. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no, why? I had to constantly lie about why you were gone. Oh, the suffering. I mean, how did you survive? That's a woman's way of telling you that from this point on, she's not responsible for none of her actions. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, it's like she forget that she real for five minutes and just start yelling. Then how could you leave me? You left me, Barry. You just left me. Standing there alone. How could you do that? <laughs> what? It's not like I wanted to leave you. I had to put on a brave face for everyone, but it was killing me inside. Sometimes it's not about us or the team. Sometimes the weight of the whole city falls on my shoulders and it's up to me to carry it. I'm the Flash. Amen. You are not the Flash, Barry. We are. <laughs> when you get married, you are no longer an individual. You can't do nothing by yourself when you get married. Everything is a team effort, you know. Us, we, let's. You can't do nothing by yourself, baby. I'm gonna be right back, I'm gonna go to the store. Well, wait, let me get my coat. Bitch, it's right there on the corner. <laughs> I just want to get some chips. I ain't gonna sleep with nobody. I can't stand, I'm getting frustrated, man. Too much pressure, man. I don't like pressure. That's why I need my space. I like my space. I like to play PlayStation by myself. Woman, well, let me explain something to y'all. PlayStation is not a game. Amen. It's, it's a way of life. So I'm home, I'm playing my game. She come home and see me playing, she get excited. Does it have two players? We can bond, we can do it together. This would be great for us. You are not the Flash, Barry. We are. She kept asking, no, it's good for us. Come on, let's play together. And I'm like, no it won't, bitch, because it's my game. I don't want you to play my game. Get the hell out of here, it's my game. Must be so nice having Barry back. Yeah. Yes, it is. But... You were so happy I was back. I am happy. Imagine this though. I don't know what I would do if this is all that's left of you. We just beat Zoom. Why does it feel like I just lost? Because you've lost a lot in your life, Barry. But. Maybe you and me, seeing where this thing goes. And I wish that I was in a place where I could try that with you.
am here to help you, especially when everything seems lost, but you have to let me. I feel more broken than I've ever felt in my life. My father's taken from me. How am I ever supposed to find peace with that? I don't know, Barry. But you're gonna have to find a way to do that or it's gonna tear you apart. Barry, how do you know what I'm gonna say if you don't ask me? I've been terrified of going into that hole. What if I went with you? No, I've been too afraid. What if we watched it together? The particle accelerator. Actually, Dr. Wells, I could use Caitlin's help identifying the poison gas. Okay. If that's okay with you. Let's go. You need to throw a lightning bolt. At what? Yourself. Caitlin! I can't. We don't have a choice. If I turn this on, it could kill you. Or it might stop his heart. If you don't, we could all die. I already lost someone I cared about in this building. I can't do it again. Listen. Someone once told me that I was struck by that lightning for a reason. That it chose me. I'm not sure I believe it. Right now, it doesn't matter what I believe. What do you believe? So we created a compound encoded with a numerical string pattern of ones and zeros to invert the order of the code. Ones become zeros and vice versa. One plus one plus one. All right, we're on it. Send us the location once you have it. Okay. Let's do it. Send us the location once you have it. Okay. 